when I, I got here, I said, okay, well, I'm gonna do things how I saw them done, right? Mm -hmm. I took from my alma mater. And uh, in regards to test review, I went through several, I'll step back into the camera just a second. Let's see, sorry, let me pull these up real quick. I'm one of those people that should not drive and talk at the same time. <laughs> okay, there's the URL. I'm in part doing this, you can see um, that it's here. And so that means if I can get it, you can get it. Oh, thank you. Okay, so. Um, those again okay I guess we'll do it this way okay and uh, the the URL I guess it's at the top of the page where did it save it anybody take notes there, there will be a quiz at the end <laughs> probably saved it no, I just put it down here the downloads folder where I mean, the pins are I'm looking for full screen. Okay. Okay, there's the URL for it. So at my alma mater, when it was test review, the instructor would announce it and we would come prepared and we'd ask and there was a great discussion. Sometimes the students clued in a little bit better. I can remember times when they said things like, well, somebody should ask me a question about this and the questions would go along with and I would sit there, you know, please ask. Okay. And I would ask and they'd, they would uh, answer that question. Um, there's a, 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 when my wife was in, pregnant with our second child, she was in labor. It was the last day of the semester. And, it, and I said, how you doing, honey? <laughs> you know, I'm in labor. She, she doesn't like hospitals, okay? And uh, so I'm like, um, there's a final review um, <laughs> at, at campus. Uh, she's like, well, yeah, you, you, why don't we both go down? Because it was already closer to the hospital than where we lived. And she was not, she figured she still had several more hours before she wanted to go to a hospital. So this is a couple of years ago. So we borrowed a pair of cell phones and we went down because I knew review day was big point day, right? You know, it's been a little while since some of us have been students, but review day were big point day and to solidify those concepts and get them down. And so um, she, she was in labor already, so didn't go into labor. And so she hung out the lab I was doing research in. I went for the 55 minutes, came back. She was fine. We went back to the house for a couple more hours and then, and then went on. But I tell my students that to say, this is what I think of review day in terms of how you should think about it. That, you know, it's, there's a lot of important concepts here. So I got here to MTSU and I said, okay, any questions? And that's what I got. It's, uh, oh, the, the exam, it's Wednesday, the exam on Friday, right? Right, okay, well, I was gonna study for Thursday. I'm like, oh, shoot. Well, there goes the hour that I planned because nobody came prepared. And so I was like, okay, this is not gonna work. So I was part of the faculty fellows program and somebody suggested, hey, there's this Jeopardy game idea. And I said, oh, thank you. That's gonna save that aspect of my teaching. And so um, I, I can't remember if they told me about it or I just Googled it. And so I, I provide the link here. So, okay, copy link. Oh, open, okay, there we go. I only need one copy, thank you. And it's a tilde. Oh, open, sorry, I need to read. <laughs> Suffering from what my students do. Okay, here it is. So th this is available, you can grab the same template. And uh, I think this is probably copyrighted. So the ones I started using, uh, don't, don't use that. But so what you do is you come in here and you say, okay, uh, I had teams and I'd say, okay, for, I lost my mouse. Okay, for 200 for topic one, here's the question. And then they'd give the answer. And then you'd say, okay, well, that's right or wrong. 
you go back and it would, oh no. Okay, on my Mac, oh, there it goes. It highlights it so that you can track it. So that's one less thing you have to do. And so this was really fun. Uh, you know, I get to go to class and we get to play a game. This is great, I love it, Dr. Carroll. And so that was great, except this took forever to put together. At least I, I felt like it took forever to get all the links right and make sure it's right and think, okay, is this a 200 point question, a 400 point question? <laughs> is it a thousand? What am I gonna do for the bonus? Where should I put the daily double? Um, and so it took a lot of time, I felt like at least, to, to put it together. Now, now maybe if you, um, you're, you're gonna do it once and you're gonna reuse it and th things aren't going to change, then, then that's gonna work just fine. Okay, oh, full screen mode, okay. Okay, so there's there's four pieces I'm gonna talk about to this puzzle of test review. One is the presentation, how do you get it to the students? And so Jeopardy, that, that was a lot of fun. I could see uh, many of you saying, oh, I'm gonna do that next week, thank you, Down, download it. Um, let, me, let me show you what uh, one that I actually did. So uh, welcome to uh, Operating Systems, a 3000 level course uh, in computer science. Okay, so who wants to pick a category? Miscellaneous That's a good one, okay. <laughs> okay, which is usually faster, reads or writes, and why? Okay, and so the student would give an answer, and then what was good is I displayed it here so that, oh, okay, yes, I heard that right, or got it right, because they're often done asynchronously. Okay, good. <coughs> Any questions on that? And if you've done test review, it, if they don't get it and nobody else gets it, you, I, I just stop and, okay, we're gonna spend three minutes on this because the test is coming up next class period. <coughs> and you make sure that you have it. And so you're reviewing the material again. You're, you're verifying that they understood it, but it's in a fun format. Um, uh, my carpool buddy at the time, Vaughn Berry over in Exercise Science, he uses a game set up for test reviews for um, one of his the classes that he teaches has some pre a lot of prerequisites and there's some must know information in those classes so he says okay you, you've already had those classes but I need to make sure that you know it how much is to review or how much can I just assume you know and so he does a game format the way he does it is they take 20 minutes form teams they go through the textbook they come up with questions submit them he on the fly processes them edits them and then asks them back um, and so that's how he's used a, a game review. And so that, that's one more that I've done and there's a, one or two daily doubles hidden in there somewhere. Okay, so that's the presentation. I came up with the questions. Um, the teams, uh, the room I was in had six tables, five each. And I said, you're careful where you sit. It's interesting, some people change seats that day and only that day. <laughs> um, you know, it's like, I'm gonna go sit next to the guy that always answers the question in class. <laughs> And then uh, individual students would would answer, okay? And I'd say, okay, what, what's your question? And put them on the spot, okay? So then I was like, okay, this, this is driving me crazy. This is, it's fun, but it was, it was taking um, a lot of time to come up with all the questions. And my carpool buddy again said, well, I have the students come up with the questions. I was like, oh, that is a great idea. So I'd say, okay, we're done with chapter 10. I need you to submit uh, two test-worthy questions uh, online, and then I'd take them in beforehand, because I don't know about you, I'm one of those people that can't, shouldn't drive and talk. I didn't want to be doing it on the fly. Um, and so I, I beforehand I said, oh, good question, or oh, that's a bad question. And I found if they submitted the questions, then I could also reply back and say, you missed that one, or that's not, you know, you've actually got this wrong. And so as a way to give some feedback to make sure that uh, understood it correctly. So I had the students starting generating the questions for the game review and then of course I just took those and also used some of them for my test. <coughs> and I think the students liked that, that they, they were answering questions that they had generated. And it motivated them. I said, well, you know, the better questions you submit, the better chance yours will appear on the exam, okay? And so, and then after doing that for a while, I taught this class and I decided to flip it. Okay. And so if you Google Hiram in 3110, 
So this is what my flip classroom, my flip classes. This is the calendar I made up. This is today. So before class, they're supposed to read and they're supposed to watch this video. And in class, this is the exercises we did. And so I changed the questions to be, okay, every video you need to submit a question to make sure that you got it. And it was the easy way to say, did you watch the video? And then it helped me to understand, okay, are they understanding the video and whatnot? So then I have, I have a large bank of questions now, a large bank that I go through. I just go, okay. And there's about 10 questions, you know, cause they're repeated. Everyone loved this question, different permutations. And I pick out what, what it is. Um, I, I, um, I, at the end of the uh, semester, I un informally asked them, and honestly asked them to say, well, hey, how many did you watch? Okay, so there's a, this one year sample size here totaled 87. And so most of them watched all of the videos they said, which is great because uh, if you ask how many people read all of the sections of a textbook, Mm -hmm. It's not going to be those answers. <laughs> and then not, so most of them were all, but then most was a, a strong contender. And for that first semester, I will say, I didn't always have them posted a lot before class, well, well in advance of class. And so I wonder if that's why another 10% didn't view them. Um, There's some that said only a few and some that didn't answer. I, I can tell you how I'm going to interpret that. And I, I also want to know, what would you think of them? Did you love them, like them, feel neutral, dislike, hate them, or you're not gonna tell me? I had a student said, I didn't like them. I had 10% um, in two different sections that said didn't like them, but by and large, the most loved and the most common response was liked them. They, they really liked them, the flipped classroom, especially if you're an international student, to be able to pause and reverse and hear with my Western accent, okay? And so then, um, I, I changed it up, let's see, from the, the game here, the Jeopardy, to then I, I was writing it down and just showing it and typing real time. Um, I'm not the world's best speller, and so when I've got 60 eyes on me, it's a little bit harder to spell correctly. So then I went to copy and paste, and that's a small thing, but if you're like me, it's like, oh yeah, it also helps the momentum of the class keep going faster. Okay, I've got a question, go. Okay, great. And then what's been most exciting is the uh, the latest rendition is with some end of year money. I saw these and I was like, oh, you know what'd be really cool is if we got some of these. <laughs> and so the um, my 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 chair said, sure, we can do that. And so we have these buzzers here. You turn them on, and it, and then what they do is they say, and there's. So anybody had done the raise a hand and oh, you were first, okay, you were first. And I hate it when it's like, I was first, I was first, it's like, I can't tell, you know, I didn't have a camera. And so that's what the system does, is it knows who is first. And so if I say reset, and they say, okay, I, you know, who's got the green buzzer? Who's got the, they, I got it, and say, okay, what's the answer? And then I go, woohoo, you got it right. Or <laughs> it might, Sorry. <laughs> and then I can say, okay, go back to buzzers. And if you've already answered, you're red. But if you haven't, then you can chime in. And so you can imagine this like, oh, great. You know, it's, I feel like I'm in a game show now. And so we played around with these buzzers. Um, the, there is gaming technology with um, clickers. And so you've already got the students already having clickers. They have some built-in games. I haven't experimented with them, but I know they are set up to do some game formats. And then lastly, instead of tables, I, I changed it to where there are groups of three because I said, okay, put it in front of the middle person because what in computer science, a lot of our students are introverts. And so I would get people that would ditch on game review day because they didn't want to be put on the spot in front of everybody. And so, I, but if they're here, they can say, hey, it's 42, answer 42, and then their neighbor will hit it because they're getting bonus points as a team. And so I said groups of three, so everyone can touch it. It engages everyone. And, and so they're all, oh, I, do I need to know it? It's been the most, game day is the most I've seen people in their textbooks and, and going through it and going through the review. Um, 
I'm out of time. I was going to play a little game to see uh, so you could experience this and see how fun it is and then we'd get the right answer. <laughs> Any questions? Yes? You said you were talking about videos. Are these videos of yourself teaching? Yeah, the, the flip classroom real quick. So uh, if you wanted to learn about build, build heaps, here it is on YouTube. Um, and we have another video in the heaps category. Now that we okay. have a wonderful data structure that is simple. And then um, that, that's what we covered today. And so this is my simple way. I just do screen capture. I've got the images already there. I, and I've got a, my, uh, the camera facing me. And so they, it's a little bobblehead. Mm -hmm. um, the research has shown that they like to see your instructor to identify with them, their voice. Uh, my chair does it and she goes, oh, I know. Uh, I'm not going to have my face on there, so she, she she doesn't have that feature. So I'd be happy to talk to you more about that later. How do you manage time-wise all of those for class um, student inputs? You say they, oh, they so I, I I get a um, it, it's over the course of that unit that I'll get the questions. So I could do it weeks ahead, or I could do it the night before, and then I go and I go great question, and then I just take them and I I randomize them and I say okay, it's question forty-two. And then I put question 42 up, and then they answer. And depending on if it's a complex answer, I'll type it so they can see it. I mean, uh, you said you asked them to respond to the videos that oh. they were assigned. You could, you could do it through a D2L assignment. I, I wrote a, a web page that they can submit it, but that's a lot more complex. Well, I was like, how do you keep, how do you read all of them before you, before the class meeting? And yeah, I just go, I go real quickly. Anything. It's like, yep, I've, I've seen this question 10 times now. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, so I scan through it very quickly because it gets to be hundreds of questions when it's uh, two questions from every student every class period. Get a video. Yeah. So I go through it real quick. Any other questions? Okay, I'll be I'll be happy to answer them uh, after the next presentation. Okay. Thank you.